He paid the debts he did not own. I owned the debts I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. And now I sing a brand new song, Amazing Grace. Christ Jesus paid the debt I could never pay. Our topic today is coming from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 7. For by the blood of Christ, we are set free. That is, our sins are forgiven. How great is the grace of God. True riches are not measured by your bank account, but by the abundance of God's grace. You have received Christ's righteousness, forgiveness of sins, adoption as God's child, the indwelling power of the Holy Spirit, and an eternal inheritance. As a joint heir with Christ, you have access to God's riches, which include unspeakable joy, unconditional love, and the peace beyond understanding. So don't wait until heaven. Tap into these divine blessings every day of your life, beginning today. Especially as we have entered the Holy Week. It's a special day, it's a special week set apart for us to meditate deeply into the Paschal mystery and also benefit from the mystery. Because every mystery that we celebrate, there are merits when we celebrate it very well. In the mind of the church and so we are also in this week meditating deeply also on the richness of God's grace upon humanity who paid the price with his blood with his own life made that sacrifice once and for all I mean is a very powerful period in the life of every Christian, especially Catholic Christians, this period. So we we pray to God to grant us the grace to be able to, um, to, to, to live out this period, just not beyond this time, um, not within this time, but also beyond this time. So that even after this period, the effects of the mysteries we have celebrated, we continue to bear fruit, lasting fruit in our lives. In the long narrative of the sufferings and death of Jesus Christ in the Gospel of St. John 18 to 19, the evangelist simply illustrates the events and the meaning of Christian suffering in the unique, unified and universal suffering and the death of Jesus Christ. Pope Francis, in his papal audience to all Christians at St. Peter's Square on Wednesday, 28 March 2018, to usher in the Triduum celebration, he said that we can only understand the suffering of Jesus Christ from the perspective of sacrifice and can only gain consolation from his vicarious sufferings and the purification through our own sufferings. There are, three, ten, there are ten things we should know about suffering. One, to suffer is to be human. Two, Suffering can work for good. Three, suffering can be divine set up for divine blessings. So four, suffering matures our spiritual muscle. Five, sufferings are lessons. Six, sufferings are opportunities. Seven, God is not far from your suffering. Eight, suffering is timeless and timely. Nine, suffering can promote solidarity. And then ten, Jesus Christ is the solution to suffering. When Jesus hung on the cross bearing the weight of his people's sin, he not only faced the worst earthly death imaginable, reserved for only the worst criminals, he faced the overflowing cup of God's wrath, from Gethsemane to Golgotha, from Gethsemane to Gavata to Golgotha and the grave. But the power of the underworld could not hold him. Whatever thing you are passing through today, God will see you through, through Christ our Lord. Amen.